Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I really want to do a get ready with me and just show you um, new stuff that I haven't been tried before um, and I really want to see uh, if it really works. Uh, they're really hyped product and I really want to do uh, first impressions about them and just show you, show you also stuff that I have been using the couple of months now and there are a lot of new stuff that I want to share with you guys. So the first item I want to do first impression on is the um, Conspiracy Palette from Jeffree Star in collaboration with Shane Dawson. Um, was really, really difficult to get hold of this palette, especially here in Switzerland. It was really, really difficult and my husband bought it from a pre-seller, so um, he paid a lot of money for it and I'm so grateful he did. Uh, I really wanted this palette, but it was sold out immediately and I also forgot it to put the alarm. Usually I always put an alarm um, the same day and also the time it will launch, but I forgot it, so it was really, really bad. And he actually bought it to me. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I love it so much. And I have been using a little bit of these um, eyeshadows, but not that much. And you open it up like this. And this one is the palette. I want to show it to you after. And then the first impression I want to do is actually something I bought, uh, I think I received a month ago, but I didn't have time to film a video, so I really want to do it now. I haven't tried this stuff, and this is the Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn's Cosmetics um, Highlighters. So I bought the Highlighter Palette, and I also bought the Luminous Powder, and I also bought, I bought everything, uh, the Loose Highlighter. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to click a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's do it. So I do have a mirror here. So if I'm watching all the time on this side, it's because of that. And tonight we are going out, me and my husband, to meet um, a couple. Um, we've been friends a very long time now and I really like them. So I can't wait to go out with them and eat. It was a long time ago since we saw each other. I think it was before, before New Year and I think it was also before Christmas. I think it was the beginning of December we went out together. So uh, we have a lot of catch up to do. So I will start, I already prepped my skin, I will start with um, <laughs> foundation. Um, I was using for the longest time now Too Faced, uh, I still do, I like that one so much, the Born This Way foundation, and now I rediscover uh, a love for another one, this one is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. And I had it for a very long time and then I just forgot it and now I pick it up again, this is the color beige. Yeah, and it's almost finished. This is everything that I have. Crazy, huh? Um, yeah, so guys, how up to how is 2020 uh, treating you? Um, I had kind of a stressful beginning of the year just because of work. Uh, I have been working a lot and I also am writing uh, a lot of stuff for, for school. So it has been quite stressful. And that's why I haven't filmed that much. I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to do that. I think I'm just lazy, so I don't have any other excuse. I'm just really lazy when I'm really tired. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy we can do something together during the weekend with friends and family as well. So yeah. 2020, um, I will soon have my birthday, I'm so happy, um, 31st of January, I have my birthday, I already um, bought the cake, I did it already in October or November because I got really scared that she didn't have enough appointments. Uh, because she's amazing, this girl who, did, who does um, cakes for birthday and um, for weddings and stuff. So she's always very, very busy. So I thought better, better to be one of the first to book my appointment for January. So I really pick up the cake, the cake pops, and I just can't wait to have the birthday. Not that I see 
not that I want to be <laughs> as old as I am right now, but I mean, I don't care. I like having birthday. I think it's a good, it's a good motivation to just uh, uh, meet friends that you haven't seen in a while and you know, to be with your family, to the loved ones. I think it's important. This year, my mom will not be here. My dad also not. So that's kind of sad. But um, I will have my, I will have um, my husband's family and my friends, and that's everything that I need to be, to be honest with you. So. Yeah, I do like this foundation a lot. I just feel like it's a little bit too orangey for me because I have no tan at all. As you guys may see, I'm really white right now. But yeah, it is what it is, right? So we will do the best of the situation. And by any means, I'm a makeup artist. I just love makeup and I like trying stuff on. And this is how I do it. Other people do it differently from me. So yeah, then when it comes to um, concealer, I'm still using the same all over again. I also have been using the, the Too Faced uh, concealer, Born This Way, in the color light beige. Uh, but now I'm using again the Tarte one. I have two different ones, the medium one that I didn't brought with me. The other one is the light medium honey. Like a classic that I always keep using all over again. So I know I put a lot of fundi uh, of um, concealer, but I feel like I need it sometimes, like tonight, for example. Uh, I have been working night shifts now um, the whole week, so I'm so tired. I just fell asleep everywhere. It's like incredible. I can't handle night shifts anymore, I feel like. I'm always so tired afterwards. Um, I do sleep really good after the shifts, but um, when I'm done with the whole six night shifts, I'm so, so tired and like I have really bad, um, bad um, under eye, like I'm really like blue or black underneath. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I'm much more tired than I was when I was younger, but yeah, that's probably the age, right? Incredible. So, so that's why I need so much makeup today. <laughs> oh my god. I really hope the camera is focusing. I did a video about the Conspiracy Palette, but I couldn't upload it because it was throughout the video just blur. I think I'm gonna put the camera a little bit more straight. I think it's a little bit, no, I think it's straighter. Um, no, but you know, it's like I have been doing all this video for all this time and then it was just blur and I couldn't upload it. It was so sad because it was really a beautiful video, but if you guys can see it, I mean, it's sad, just blurry. So now I have the concealer on and I'm just gonna put some baking powder under my eye area, but I will not bake under my eye because I feel like it gets really, really dry uh, for me right now. And it makes just a lot of wrinkles like here on the side. The one that I'm using now is this uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder, like the classic one. This is also a, a old, but a goodie. I like this one so much. And I think I'm just gonna put some powder under my eyes and that's it. Sorry. I just wanna set the concealer at first. And also the other eye. Then I discovered something also new, and this one is actually a cream contour, um, a cream contour uh, item. This one is the Huda Beauty one. I think it calls Ten Tour, Ten Tour Contour and Bronze Bronzer Cream. And this one is in the color Fair. I should have bought the color Light, but it was. I was very undecided if it was too dark for me. 
uh, it probably isn't but now I just work with the fair and I do like the consistency of it so I'm just gonna use this one as well I'm gonna show you the color this one is the color it's a little bit too light for me I see that maybe now no because I'm really pale but still mm, I should have bought the other one like really stupid for me that I not use it but yeah just gonna use it and contour it's really beautiful You guys see it? Just gonna contour my face. Um, and yeah, what else I wanted to talk to you guys about? I don't even remember. I never contour my nose, I don't feel like I need it, so that's why I never do it. But the rest I always contour. Mm. I haven't used this brush to contour before. Maybe I should just take the Judy Blender. Yeah, that's better. I feel like it's blend much better. You guys see it? It's really beautiful. Now it's a beautiful color, I like it. I mean I can use fair with no problem, but I think one shade um, darker will be better for me, for my complexion. But I love how good it blends into the skin. It's really beautiful. I bought this one in Italy when I was with my mom. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You guys see it a little bit, yeah. So, now I think we can bake a little bit. We will bake under the contouring. I do enjoy to do this type of video, like makeup videos, just but for myself. I know that I'm not a makeup artist and it's kind of boring if you're not so good at it, but I enjoy doing it. It makes me really relax. I hope you also guys like it. I, I know I don't get a lot of likes, not a lot of likes, but a lot of views on this type of video, but I do enjoy them, so I'm just gonna keep doing it anyway. <laughs> I just like them so much. It looks like I have a beard. Perfect, Jennifer. So, good. Then I'm just going to put some powder a little bit all over the face. So, and the other one I'm going to just let it bake a little bit. So, um... We were talking about uh, my eyebrows. Do I have it? The pencil that I always use, please. Maybe I don't have it on. I forgot it. Let me see if I have it with me. I think I don't. So I'm just gonna use the other one. Ah, oh, no, I have it. Found it, perfect. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my brows uh, with the help of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil or yeah brow pencil I think it is and the deep brown this I always use like it's nothing new it's the color um, dark brown the pool made deep brow I love so much sorry if you don't can't see that good now just I think I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. This one is the mirror that I bought from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's like in the pink metallic one. I love this one so much. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows from here. Do you guys see? Do you guys see me if I do like this? Perfect. It's easier for me to do it with the mirror closer to myself. 
otherwise I do a disaster. I really would like to know what you guys like. I know I'm more like a I'm more interested in stuff about luxury and reviews about luxury items and this is actually the thing I'm most passionate about but you guys have other idea what else you would like to see from me like hauls for example from Zara or pretty little things stuff like this I do enjoy Zara a lot and I usually buy a lot of clothes from them but I never show it to you so maybe you guys want to see that as well. I don't know. I think it's very difficult to know what the people want to see <laughs> from you. So. But I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm, I love YouTube and I love doing makeup videos. I love doing luxury videos. And I love interacting with you guys. I met a lot of beautiful people and uh, I just love it. I think it's very beautiful that you that we can have a connection with each other although we don't know each other. So it's really beautiful. So I think I'm done with my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't spend that much time with my eyebrows. I'm not that good at them. So let's finish it like this so now i think i'm what i'm wanting i want to do um i think i want to do the eyes and now i'm gonna show you the most amazing conspiracy palette from jeffrey star and shane dawson if you open it up like this it's very heavy and very luxurious looking uh yeah here are the colors um, these are a little bit out of my comfort, uh, comfort zone, usually, so I don't want to blend you guys. Usually I don't use that many um, different colors on my eyelid, but I would try to use some kind of colors. Um, I think I'm going to use, do I really want to use colors? I feel like I don't want to use colors, <laughs> but maybe I'm going to just show, um, that I have really beautiful colors, that everyone is beautiful, but I do have a red dress on. I'm, I'm not gonna wear the red dress to go out for dinner with my friends, so I certainly can't, can wear whatever color I want on the eyelid. Um, let's do like a simple look, and then if you guys like it, I can do another conspiracy palette review and another color range if you want. And I think I'm gonna start with the color, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna use the color Mike Peels, first of all, the one up here, the second one. It's like a pink, light pink color. And it's really pigmented, it's incredible. And I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. This is what I'm gonna do, it's easier. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Beautiful. Incredible how pigmented it is. It's incredible. Then I'm gonna use the color Tanacon. Tanacon is like a beige color. This one right here. And on the side, I'm gonna put it all over the lid like this. Same on the other side. Also pretty plenty, you see that? But it's such a beautiful, beautiful color. It's incredible. Okay, then I'm just gonna put some Diet Root Beer. It will be the brownish color right here. I'm gonna use another brush. And we're just gonna dip in it. Just to make just the color a little bit more intense. And on the other side as well. Uh, I love, they're so creamy and buttery. Jeffree Star um, eyeshadows. But to be honest, this one is even, even better. I feel like this collection is out of this world. I love it so much. And I'm a huge fan of, of course, Jeffree Star, as you guys may know, and also 
of Shane Doe's and I love his series. I have been watching the, the, his series for the longest time. I think he was one of the first that I started watching in YouTube. Uh, I started watching first Trisha, I think, and then afterwards I started watching Shane because they were always together. Um, and yeah, I like them a lot. So, now I'm just blending everything in. It's really beautiful. Uh, I'm just gonna put some glitter also on. This color right here is really glittery. You don't see that much on camera, but I'm just gonna put something on my eyelid. I feel like it's really beautiful. Just need to find the right brush. I'm just gonna put it like this. It's incredible. Look how pigmented it is. It's like a pink champagne color, so it's very flattering on the eyelid for actually every skin complexion, to be honest. It's really beautiful. Put on the other side. I just pack everything in. It's really beautiful. So beautiful. They are so, so pigmented and so buttery and very easy to blend. So they have a little bit of fallout, but that's normal, but very, very little, not that much. I'm just gonna do um, an eyeliner liquid eyeliner because I have been doing this for the longest time now. I love it. And I have been using a new product and it's the one from Huda Beauty and this will probably be my favorite eyeliner ever. This one is the Life Liner Very Vanta Extreme Black. I have two of them because one is almost finished and it's so cool because one side is a liquid eyeliner, the other side is a pencil liner and I do love the pencil liner under my waterline. So I have to check which one it is. Because one is the old one and I don't want to use it anymore. Okay, this one is the new one. Perfect. I have, I was really lucky right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the mirror a little bit closer so I can, so I can do the eyeliner. Oh, I think this is not the, oh, shit. I think this one. This one was the wrong one. So I'm just going to do it again. Yeah, this one is the new one. I thought the combi. So now I'll put the eyeliner. I really like it. I like I love it so much. This eyeliner. This is probably my favorite of all time. Um, yeah, I think now we can brush this away. And I'm just gonna contour it a bit more with the bronzer right now. Perfect. So I have been using now the contour palette from Dior Backstage and I also like this one very much. It's this collection right here and the color I have been using is usually this one. A little bit of this but much more is this one that I like so much. The highlight I don't really care that much but this color is perfect for contouring. Okay. 
you guys see how pigmented it is? It's really beautiful. So now that I'm done with the uh, bronzer, I'm just going to put some blush first. And I think it's the normal that I always use, the Orgasm from NARS. The limited edition one, the rose and gold one. This one right here. Just going to put something on my cheek. And now it comes the best part. Oh no, wait, I just wanna put something also under my eyelid. Just gonna put some uh, eyeshadow underneath. Let me open it again. Just gonna put some Diet Root Beard, the brownish color underneath to give me some life. It's really beautiful. Now it looks better. <laughs> so now I'm so excited. Now I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. You guys know I love, 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 love Jaclyn Hill. Um, I have, I think I have everything from her. The only thing I don't have is the um, Volter. Was the Volter collection? Volter collection, something like this. I never bought that because I do love eyeshadows, but it's not the most amazing thing. You know, I. I I can handle one palette, but when it's like four of them and then I have to choose one, I'd rather not have one. That's the only thing I don't have from her, otherwise I really use everything. I love everything, also the brushes, are everyone is, uh, everyone that I'm using right now, every brush that I'm using right now is from the Morphe Jack Hill collaboration. And her lipstick I also use, I really love them, but yeah, they got really bad um, review on them. But I do enjoy them. I had three of them and I use them still today. I will use one today because I don't care. I do love them and I use them, so why not? Um, but I was so excited when she launched the, the Jaclyn um, Cosmetics uh, highlighter. I was so excited. And I think I'm going to start with this one right here. This one is the highlighter pilot palette. And this one is the lighter one, one and it's the flash it calls. So let me open it up on this side, I think it is, yeah. This side, it opens up. I'm just gonna put the cartons on this way. And it's very, very, very heavy. Looks really luxurious. You have the name Jacqueline here, and it's everything in silver. It's really beautiful. It's tight, it's the perfect um, color for her um, line. If you open it up, if I can open it up, yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Here you have the colors, the four colors that she has, and a huge mirror she also has. The mirror is gorgeous, and it's so heavy. So I'm just going to go in with one brush, and I'm just going to dip in first with the, this one right here, and then I'm just going to build it up. So let's put a little bit of the color uh, Gleam. Do you guys see it, how beautiful it is? I barely touched the palette. It's cute. So I'm just gonna put it on the other side as well. Crazy. And they're very like buttery. I feel like, it, look at this. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my God, it's crazy. Then I'm gonna put eyes, like this one right here, the second one. Oh my God. Do you see that? It's crazy. It's a crazy highlight. I like this one a lot. Just gonna put sparks and mesmerize these two. I'm just gonna blend this one and put a little bit more on it because you can never have enough highlight, you know? I just like this so much. Okay, they're so blending, it's not normal. <laughs> I have to have something to just 
tone it down a little bit, but I like it. It's incredible how beautiful it is. Do you guys see? Crazy. So I'm just gonna stop right now because I wanna try the other two products, but so far so good. Like these are beautiful. I do recommend this one a lot. Uh, of course, you don't need all four colors, but they're all four amazing. So let's see how the other one looks. But this one right here is my fave. I'm just gonna put it back right in. Then I'm gonna show you, I think I'm gonna show you the Dewy, uh, the um, Luminous Powder from Jacqueline Cosmetics. And this one she said you can put all over your face. So I'm just gonna put this one all over my face. And I took in the color Dewy looks a little bit goldy I hope it looks good on me because now I'm not that tan um, beautiful packaging like opaque and silver I'm just gonna take this peel this off oh my god if I can do it with my nails Wow I'm just gonna take a little bit yeah it's a typical powder it look like a luminous powder so I'm just gonna put something here a little bit. Yeah, this one. And it looks a little bit like yellowy, like it's typical for my type of color. And I'm, I don't know if I just, just take this brush right here and just put it up. I think I'm gonna take this one right here and just put it on my forehead. Yeah, it does like a little bit of luminous to it. Of course, if you're very oily, I will not recommend to put it on your um, on your forehead. But I love this one. I don't feel like it does a lot. Maybe if I put a little bit of this down. I don't know if I feel like it's a luminous type of... It looks more like a powder to me. Yeah, it looks more like a powder to me. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna use this one strictly as a powder. I like this one, to be honest. But I will not use it as a luminous highlighter. Just um, luminous powder. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Maybe it's the same idea as the Laura Mercier. She also has like a luminous um powder and maybe this one looks really good but i mean it's a powder so i do like it i don't feel like it's, i'm very oily or not but yeah this one is okay for me the other one i was really impressed so yeah let's put this one back in then the one that i was the most excited about is actually the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. Um, now, Anastasia Beverly Hills has one of these, the Hollywood one, I think, but I never bought it uh, because I was a little scared to use too much on it. But when I saw that she has the same collection, Jaclyn, I thought I have to have this one. The color is Bomb, I love the color, and it's like a small one, but it's kind of the same as the powder uh, luminous uh, highlights. Wow. Just gonna peel this one off again. If I can do it. Yeah, perfect. Then I'm just gonna put something in. Maybe I don't need that much. Whew, what I'm gonna do with br which brush I'm gonna use? Ah, this one right here. I'm really scared to use too much on it. Oh, you see? You see? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this one is my favorite. <laughs> you do have to be careful to not use too much. But oh my god, do you see that? Wow. Yeah, this one is my favorite. And I love the color. It's like a kind of a, like rose coppery, goldy color. I love this one so much. This is beautiful. I can use more. It's okay. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Uh, okay, so I have to choose from. I will definitely, if you love a blendy highlight, I will suggest you buy the Jaclyn Cosmetic Loose Highlighters. Beautiful. This one is the bomb one. Amazing. I do love the flash 
highlight palette. I do recommend this one as well. If you love Jaclyn Hill, if you love highlighter, you should invest in this too. Uh, when it comes to the luminous luminous powder um i will use this as all over the face so i mean i do need a uh, loose powder so i will use this one i don't feel like it did something to my skin to be honest it, in when we're talking about luminousness um but i love this one as well so i mean i love her i will always purchase everything from her um but if you have to choose something i will suggest these two or if you have to choose just one thing i will suggest this one this one, I'm really sold. I love this one so much. So I'm just gonna put some um, spray, fixing spray. This one is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face, my favorite. Perfect. Now I'm done. And I'm just gonna put mascara on. This one, I'm gonna use lose this one 500 times a day. I'm so sorry. Uh, the mascara is the Monsieur Big from Lancome. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna do my lashes. Can I use this one as well? I wasn't seeing nothing. I do a really weird face when I'm doing the mascara. You guys do it as well. Like, I always do it. I am in love with this highlight. It's out of this world. Just gonna put just a little bit. Wow beautiful then i'm just gonna overline my lips with the lip pencil from mac in the color spice this one i also have been using for the longest time you guys already know that i love this color And now the color that I'm gonna use for my lips is the Jaclyn Hill Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick, um, That Girl. I love the packaging, the glitter ones with the diamond on top. And I'm just gonna use this one as well. That Girl color. They're very creamy and I hadn't had an issue with the lipstick. The only thing they stain a little bit, but I don't care. I like it as well. Yeah. Now I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I will put some black eyeliner uh, down, like pencil eyeliner under my the waterline. But for right now, I like it like this. Uh, I'm just gonna curl my hairs. Um, change the change the dress because i don't want to wear red when i go out just to eat dinner it's a little bit too elegant i don't look that elegant and yeah i'm just gonna curl the hairs and that's it the review on the first impressions i love the jacqueline cosmetics you guys have to check it out uh, and the conspiracy palette is amazing i already knew that and yeah, I hope you guys love this video. If you like again, click a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just write me down below. I will really, really appreciate it. And I will answer you as soon as I see them. Uh, so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Okay, bye. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever
trust, yeah No, I don't want 